Hey guys and gals, today's video is going to be a drill press repair hack and I'm going to be your host, the Homestead Prepper. This is a uh, 27 year old drill press, you can see the date on it, 1991. Uh, this was owned by my dad for quite a while and then um, he gave it to me a few years back. And it's been a really good drill press, haven't had any problems with it, done a, a ton of work on it. But uh, the other day I was using it and the belt popped off and I noticed that this uh, lock ring came off and this uh, this pulley is loose on here so um, and the problem is that these threads have worn out right there you can see that so there's a couple different uh, ways we could fix this um, one way what we could do is take this uh, this shaft out of here and we can get some high carbon steel and we can get on the lathe and make one and what we do is make it custom and make it a little bit taller than that right there and then we could put a much larger a more substantial and thicker bolt on there and that will not probably ever happen again that thing coming off of course that's a lot of effort and you know tedious work the other thing we could do is we could uh, I guess we could take this off and we could uh, weld some material on there braze some material on there and then retap it and then I guess get a new one of these and you see how thin that is there's not really a lot holding on there I mean it did last for many years but uh, I question, you know, doing that. Uh, the other thing we could do is we could just buy a new, whole new drill press, you know. But um, those of you out there who know me know that I don't like to spend any money on stuff, especially stuff uh, that is expensive like drill presses. I don't know if you've priced those lately, but so I think what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to do a drill press hack. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to tack weld right. I'm going to put this on here like this. And I'll put a couple tack welds on there. Now, I know there's some booing and hissing out there in the audience. But, uh, guys, I, I really don't care. But that's going to fix this. And if I ever do need to take this off, I can get a grinder or a Dremel tool in there and remove this. And then we can, uh, you know, like I said, go through the pain and do something else uh, more substantial. Uh, now, you notice that this has got this thing that moves down in there. When you move that, that's what that thing goes down into so we need to protect that so I think what I'm going to do is I have one of these things this was actually drilled out on the press here and what we can do is we just put a little, little spacer like that that drops that down in there and then we can just put something on right there and like I said we'll just put a couple tacks in it now uh, guys, I had some uh, tractor tires one time that the, the wheel studs were spinning, and that's what I did is just put a couple tacks on there, and they held great. I think I think it's still on there, but uh, I think this is going to hold this. If not, then you know I haven't really lost anything except a little bit of time. So let's uh, let's get started.
guys, we can uh, look at this while this is fresh here. Just knock that off right there. Mainly what I was concerned about was that that little inner shaft there doesn't get welded to this thing. So anyway, let's get a let's get a wire wheel and clean that up, and we'll see if this this thing will come off here while I'm trying to use it. I got that cleaned up. Let's uh, let's just take a look at it. It's not the prettiest, you know, repair in the world, but I mean, guys, it's not like this, you know, drill press is going to be on the cover of uh, Sports Illustrated anytime soon. So uh, I, I don't really care what it looks like as long as it works, and I think that's that's going to hold. So let's uh, let's put uh, let's put that belt on there, and let's see if we can drill something, and maybe the belt won't pop off this time. Well, I got this set on uh, pretty slow speed right here, so let's uh, let's drill a couple things and test it out. It would only um, drill for maybe about two or three seconds before before the uh, the thing would come off, the belt would come off of there. So let's let's see what it'll do now. Okay, well, that's a little more like it. All right, I was able to drill out one hole um, with that. Let's let's try this second hole right here and see if we can get that drilled out. Okay guys and gals, I'm going to say that I got off cheap here and it's uh, it's it's making it happen so I I guess I got off cheap. So there you go. A 27-year-old drill press repair hack. Homestead Prepper out.